Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the second part. Uh, so this is, uh, we'll just go ahead and get rid of. I think I covered everything I wanted to in that. And I have uh, this loaded up, right? And there's a lot of information here we're going to go through and talk about. Uh, right now, let's see. Uh, we'll talk about uh, this, I guess, first, with just the, the curves out here. Uh, this first one is a not continuous curve. Not continuous, they are just not joined. So uh, when I go to extract a surface, of course, uh, just click here and then drag up and then put it here and then I go to look at my surface uh, they will not be joined right so that is considered a non-continuous surface uh, just so you know the terminology uh, the next one here is positional continuity or G0 so G0 is positional continuity and continuity means I have two curves here and just like up here I have two curves uh, and positional continuity is they they share a common uh, point they are connected right so if i turn on points on these two curves i get this point here and i can drag that point but it doesn't change its positional continuity or g0 so now you know what g0 is if you didn't positional continuity uh, tangency continuity I have two curves out here and they are sharing tangency okay so we turn on points and how do I know they're sharing tangency g1 uh, is because if I take a line and snap to that point and snap to that point it goes right through the the points right so let me get get out of that here let's click these back on and uh, that's a curvature continuity between two curves now of course if I move something uh, I'm going to break that now I have a, a G0 uh, it's positional continuity right so you got to be careful once you join them together that's a different story uh, but uh, when you have two curves uh, connecting together uh, you can always tell it's a g2 uh, or g1 sorry a tangency continu continuity uh, when those lines line up one two three because when you do a, con uh, a tangency it affects the next point to it uh, on both sides so I have one point here for both curves and then my second point is being affected in order to maintain that tangency and in the next video we're going to talk about how to achieve this in several different ways uh, uh, so that will be our next video all right now the curvature continuity again I have two curves uh, and if I turn on points uh, this is a basically a, a curvature continuous continuous uh so but again it's two two curves so uh if if i was to move something i would break that continuity and now have g0 right uh so once you join them it's a different story uh, but uh, it's kind of uh that's how you tell though uh they, it has a, a radius continuity from between two points, the endpoints, and it has a tangency continuity. So that's curvature continuity, uh, G2. Now, G3, uh, you can get G3 higher level curves. Uh, they meet the conditions of G2, which is uh, a radius and uh, curvature, uh, but also the rate of change of the curvature is. Oops, same, sorry, uh, on both curves and surfaces, not common endpoints or at common endpoints and edges. So basically pretty close to the same thing. G4 continuity uh, is a rate of change of the curvature is the same for both curves where they meet. Okay, so it's the, the rate of change is the same as both where they meet. Uh, this is the smoothest smoothest type of join so you'll get the best uh smoothness out of the g4 uh g5 continuity is really no extra effect or more continuity you really can't tell any big difference between uh, a g4 g3 uh with the g5 and the last one uh here real quick uh oh, there <laughs> T -A -G -R -E. uh there are a few uh, tool there are a few tools uh 
that you can check G0, G1, and G2 continuity. But the higher levels, uh, G3, G4, and G5, uh, there's really very limited ways to check those curves out. So uh, to make sure that they're G5 or whatever. But the, we're going to talk about the G0, G1, and G2 with surfaces and uh, stuff like that. So let's go back here real quick and take these here, uh, all my curves. And let's go and extrude them up, right? Okay, so now you can see there's a, a real sharp uh, kink right here. And we have a, a kink right here and one here because the point coming in, right? Uh, and we'll talk about getting rid of that kink. But sometimes kinks are good, uh, especially when you're trying to manipulate the curves. Uh, so... Uh, just want to point that out that's that's a kink right uh now yeah i'll wait we'll talk about the merge and uh all that later on uh this whole series here will be about surfaces and how to manipulate them so we'll just keep moving forward um but as you can tell the, the it's a very nice smooth it has radius and curvature going from point to point uh this one has uh curvature and radius uh not as effective or not curvature it has um tangency uh this one has position and this one is non-existent there is no uh, uh con continuity between those curves so zero continuity uh or not even close non-continuous uh g0 positional uh g1 tangency g2 curvature all right, curvature and radius, basically. Okay, uh, one last thing, uh, real quick. Uh, I do want to go ahead, and, I guess, and just go ahead and throw in this point. Uh, is you can go to your edit tools, right? And if you go to merge, well, if you click on this surface, this surface uh, edges are not too far apart and cannot merge. Of course, if I right click and bring it back, go to this surface and this surface. Uh, now I uh, have two surfaces, right, that are uh, basically merged together, right? So if I try to turn on points, I can. I can put on turn on points and then I can manipulate them and they will maintain that uh, G uh, zero uh, continuity or point uh, po a position continuity, right? Okay, and if I right click, bring back that command. I don't know what happened here. Let's get rid of these points here real quick. All right, if I, this is two surfaces, so if I uh, right click to merge them, I take this surface and this surface and hit enter. Oh, wait, let's back out of that. Uh, I want to merge, uh, merge surface, this one and this one. And now uh, you can see it changed the curve because it got rid of that uh, kink, right? Uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about the kink and then it affecting those points second to it. So it basically deleted that kink, uh, but and, and it started to give it as more effect on those to maintain that curve uh, tangency. Uh, so that's uh you know keep be aware sometimes it can change the results of your uh merging them can change your curvature uh so let's go so that's why you need to be able to get the tangency without uh, get, uh you know merging them together sometimes uh so let's go ahead right click on this one and that one and you can see uh the when you merge these together it goes tangency goes one point curvature continuity goes three points so it affects or not three point the sec well the shared plus one plus two so the third point out uh it, it affects uh the um curvature continuity so tangency is two curvature is three positional is just the the one position and then of course none is not <laughs> all right uh so hopefully that gives you a little bit uh better insight but we'll talk a lot more about merge uh here later on and match and all that uh good stuff um but i wanted to go ahead and just throw this in there uh so hopefully it helps uh let's get moving on to the next part all right thanks